What is up 614 crew? It is September 21st at 10:40 a.m. Now, I don't I'm going to show you guys something real quick. This is today. I am supposed to be working 8 to 4, but clearly I'm not at work. Uh, I showed up and then I told them basically that I had to leave early. I know that you guys can't tell it right now because I'm not really expressing it because I don't want you guys to kind of see that, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um there's a lot of pain towards my kidneys, so my mom is actually leaving work right now too. And then I think we're heading to, uh, to blah, the emergency room to find out some stuff because we got our test results back and they came back negative. I don't even know what they were testing me for, honestly. I'm just losing so much blood that I have to really go and get this found out today. Just a really quick update on my health condition though, like, it's just progressively gotten worse. I keep losing more and more blood. I've even tried changing my diet to take like matters into my own hands. It's not been a super long diet, but I think I've been a vegetarian for like four days. I was thinking it's maybe meat. I was thinking about cutting out dairy products and stuff to just try that out. I really don't know what it is. So I think I'm just gonna have to head to the emergency room, see what they tell me. Sorry for not posting a vlog yesterday. Like I told you guys I would, literally I did not get anything done. I, it's hard for me to even get out of bed is basically what I'm trying to say. We went from like a super nice vlog schedule of like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then I wanted to do daily, which I know that I can. It's just my body is not letting me. So the vlogs are going to be like here and there and I do apologize for that. I do like having my set schedule but there's really nothing I can do about it. I hope you guys understand. I've even started drinking like these breakfast essential things. I think that these things are absolutely gross. But what you guys all really care about is, I forget in the last video but I'm pretty sure the car was still in the shop. Well. We went ahead and we're letting them keep it for a while. As you guys can tell, the garage is like completely empty, but we're letting them keep it for a little bit longer because they're gonna do all the welding and everything for us because we looked at some of their work and it's literally just way better than we could ever even imagine doing. So now that you guys are all updated on what is going on in my life, I'm just waiting till my mom gets here and then we can head out to the emergency room. Let me do a quick time check for you guys, but it is 1.20 and we're at the hospital right now. I do not have a good track record with hospitals. They don't treat me well. So they can never figure him out. He's alien. They don't figure me out. They tell my parents that I'm like lying to them. It's just we'll we'll see how this goes. We'll let you know the results after. I'm not gonna lie, this is better service than we've ever had at a hospital. I got a nice little blanket. This thing's so warm but we've been here for a couple of hours. What time did we get here? I don't even know when the other clip was, but it's 3.22 as you guys can tell, and it's just been a lot of waiting. I don't really know what they're gonna do right now. They had me like change into this thing, and I think they might do some, uh, testing but we're not sure we have to wait for them to come in and tell us what they're going to do yeah Hopefully so something. more waiting when you're out i can actually blog you like me better i'm fun you just have to make sure that you talk loud enough to where they can hear you too because you got to remember the microphone's small well you can't talk that yeah. loud because you don't have to get that close we're in hospital Okay, so it's five o'clock and we're back in the room and there's Brandon over there and they've got him on IV. You're probably not talking loud enough again. Oh, they got him on IV and they're going to do um, a CT scan with contrast and um, then they're going to end up doing some more tests. So we'll just wait and see. Um, we're getting a little tired and a little hungry and I'm he just sorry. ran out of his IV and now they're gonna have to give him another one. And then Dean? Yes. My name is Twin from Cat Skin. Hi. All around me are familiar faces. Yeah. Okay. Tell bye so, Brandon. Yeah. Bye guys. My mom's probably the worst vlogger and you guys didn't hear a word that she said but I do have my IV and stuff in and I just got done with my CT scan 
The results should be coming soon, but I'm not really sure when. Don't be haters, guys. I was trying. I, it's just my first time. Give me a break. You, you just get, you just I'll don't talk back. loud enough. Oh, no. After that last clip that I just showed you guys, I pretty much fell asleep. I was so tired because I was literally at the hospital for a good like 9 to 10 hours. Uh, they came back with the results and they said it was colitis. Now, I don't really know what that is. If you want to WebMD it, go for it. I, I don't really know how to explain it, so I don't want to give you guys like false information. But it's nice to actually go to a hospital and get some results and answers back. Like This problem that I've been having has been happening for about like two years or something like that. Ever since my senior or junior year in high school. So it's been a while. It's nice to actually get some info on what it actually is. But we are going to go for a scope test before October 10th. Now, I don't know too much about it, so that's all I'm going to leave you guys with today. And this is going to be the end of the video, so if you did enjoy, please hit that like button. And if you're not already a part of the 614 crew, hit that subscribe button, join the family. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out.